Hey, it's Shy Town Scratcher. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wanted to go ahead and mix it up, you guys. I want to talk a little bit about the lottery odds, calculating the lottery odds here for a handful of the top games that are played here, the multi-state games, as well as talk about one game here that's played in Illinois that draws twice a day, which is a fun game to play. It's called the Lucky Day Lotto. So let's go ahead and get started. The Powerball game, as you guys know, it plays every Wednesday and Saturday and you can pick five numbers. Your first five numbers are gonna have options of one through 69, followed by your sixth number, which is the Powerball number, and those are gonna be numbers one through 26. And each line is $2. There is also a thir another feature of the game where you can do a power play option, which is uh, a multiple. There's a multiplier effect there for your non jackpot winning prizes you can win you know two times three times four times five times and so on and so forth if you were to add an extra buck per line for that particular uh, ticket but just the basic play is two dollars per line and so as you can see the first number that's drawn is going to be one through 69 right and then the second number you're only going to have 68 remaining and then once you draw that second number you're left with 67 you're gonna draw that fourth number and then your fifth number. So it kind of cascades down and you're only picking five balls. So as you can see, for each number to touch one another, it'd be 69 times 68 times 67 times 66 times 65, okay? I'm not gonna talk about permutations and combinations in this particular video in, in great detail. I'm just gonna give a high level, but ultimately that's sort of some of the math that's that's going on behind the scenes here in order to have each one of these combinations touch one another also means that there's going to be some duplicate combinations within there because we don't necessarily care if our numbers come in the exact order so long as they just show up within those five numbers right so you're going to have some duplications in there in these combinations when you calculate the 69 through the 65 so in order to remove those duplications you're going to have in this denominator a five factorial and again, it's a five factorial because we're picking five numbers here. And then that's going to translate into what you see down below to the left. So you're going to have 1.3 billion combinations. And you're going to divide that by that five factorial to get essentially 11.28 million unique combinations. And then finally, on that last ball, the 20, one through 26, the 11.2 million combinations would touch each one of those balls, one through 26 which then brings you to a final result of 292,201,338 unique combinations. Okay, and that's gonna be expressed as simply one in 292,201,338. So if you look at the back of the ticket in the grand prize area, that's exactly what you're gonna see if you're looking at, again, this Powerball game. And theoretically, what that suggests is that because uh, again, each line is two dollars. That if you were if you were to buy every single one of these combinate these unique combinations, that will cost you essentially five hundred eighty four point four million dollars. And theoretically, if you were to do that, then you should win. But it wouldn't really make sense to do that unless, of course, on an after tax basis, you could make far more than what you're spending. And again, that's assuming that you're the only winner and that uh, there aren't uh, multiple winners. So I thought that was just a pretty interesting breakdown here of how you calculate that and that's how they come up with those odds, you guys. Let's go on and look at another game. Another multi-state game is the Mega Millions. This particular game draws Tuesday and Friday and the first five balls, it's essentially the same thing except it's gonna be one through 70. That's a one through 70, seven, zero. And then basically, same math, you're gonna pick one number, one through 70, and that leaves only 69 numbers left. You'll pick a number that leaves only 68, and then just down the line for your first five balls. And as a result, you're gonna have some duplication there. So you're gonna to wanna to eliminate the duplication by dividing by that five factorial, okay? As a result, you're gonna be left with 12.1 million unique combinations. This particular game has 25 for that sixth number, so it's one through 25 for the Mega Ball. 
And so you're going to have the 12.1 million combinations touch each one of 1 through 25. And that's how you're going to get to your overall odds of 302,575,350. And again, that's expressed on the back of the ticket as an overall odds of 1 in 302,575,350. Three hundred and fifty, and again, theoretically, if you were to buy every single one of those combinations, because again, the cost of the ticket is two bucks. This game also have that they have a mega plier uh, effect as well. For an extra dollar per line, you can multiply your non-jackpot winnings. But again, just the basic core of the game is two dollars if you don't opt for that mega plier. And if you were to spend six hundred and five million, you would theoretically cover every single number. And again, it would not make sense because you would want to make sure the jackpot is probably in the billions, low billions, on an after-tax basis uh, in order to break even or at least to make a profit from doing that. But in theory, if you were to do that, that's what would happen, assuming that you're the only winner, of course. So those are the odds. That's how you calculate them. And one cool game here that we have in our state in Illinois is the Lucky Day. Unlike the Powerball and the multi state, this particular game draws twice a day there's a midday drawing there's an evening drawing so that's one cool factor about it there's also uh, only five balls so you're picking one through five there isn't or, or excuse me one through 45 so there isn't a sixth ball and then the cost of this game is only one dollar a ticket as of right now it's only one dollar a ticket and so basically the math applies it's gonna you're gonna pick uh, one through 45 and as you can see the first ball that's all 45. So once that ball, one of those, that first ball is pulled, then you're only left with 44 balls remaining. And then another ball is pulled, you're left with 43, and then all the way down the line until five balls are pulled. So each one of those numbers will touch the other. And as a result, you want to eliminate some of the duplications as well within that because again, the order doesn't matter. The exact order doesn't matter in which the balls come so long as your unique set of five shows up. And so to remove the duplicate, the duplicative effect, you're going to divide by that five factorial and you're going to be left with an overall odds of one in 1.221 million. So theoretically, if you were to spend that 1.221 million, you would have played every single combination and you would theoretically win because there would be no other uh, combinations right because you would have covered all of them so in theory you would want every single you would want the prize the jackpot amount to be far more than the 1.2 million uh, on an after-tax basis and then that way you would actually make a profit if you were to buy every single one of those I don't recommend doing that <laughs> but um, in theory that's what that's what should happen Typically, these jackpots, they can get up there. I've seen, you know, the jackpots typically, from what I've seen, they, you know, 500, 600,000, and then you start to see winners. I've seen a, a few of them go over a million dollars before, uh, which is which is really cool. Um, but that's basically how that game, how that game and the grand prizes for that game operate. So, and just a couple of uh, key reminders and tips, you guys. You need to make sure that you're a legal age to purchase and, and or play. Most states, the legal age is 18, but there are a handful of states I want to say that uh, require you to be 21. So just make sure you check the online website to get confirmation on that. Another important reminder, you guys, is that the balls don't have memories. They don't know if they were drawn today, yesterday, the day before, last month or last year. It's a random event. Each time the ball is pulled, it's a random event. These balls don't get together and have conversations. They don't know who's going to be getting pulled and not. It's just completely random is the thought. And to think that past performance will guarantee or indicate future performance or success could be a, a, a big issue if you guys start to think that because you saw balls pulled, last week or last month that they have a great chance or greater probability of coming up. And that's just not true. Every ball has the same chance of coming up as every other ball, okay? So just keep that in mind. A third tip and reminder for myself typically is I like to pick my own numbers. I don't rely on the machine. I don't rely on the quick picks. A number of years ago, I read an article, a young lady showed that she bought 10 quick picks on a particular game. And I forget which state it was, but she had bought 10 quick picks. And then a few minutes later, she 
so I decided to splurge just a little bit more. So she brought, bought another 10 quick picks. And believe it or not, the second ticket had in the exact same order, the exact same numbers as the first ticket that she bought. And she reported it to the lottery officials and they went to investigate the machine and they determined that the machine had malfunctioned. That's what they reported. And so I thought that was a bit unnerving and so ever since then I said look I want to avoid malfunctioning machines I don't want these machines spitting out the same numbers I want to get a unique set of combinations so we can start chopping down at the total bucket of outstanding combinations that exist and as a result I pick my own number so that's just a reminder to myself you guys can do whatever you want pick your own numbers have the machine pick them but for me I like to pick my own numbers Another important reminder is, you guys, just make sure that you play for entertainment only. That when you play for entertainment, you really are a winner because, you know, you're just having fun out of it. You're getting a little bit of action and, you know, it's money that you could probably go without. It's not a big deal. It's a handful of dollars. When you start to overspend, when you start to compare uh, and juxtapose whether you should play the lottery versus other important things in your life, that's when it becomes a problem. You should never put the lottery in front of anything else in your life because your your personal expenses and, and other things that you need to make sure you take care of should come first. So just make sure that if you're going to play, play for entertainment only. And the last sort of reminder here is just make sure you play responsibly. And I think that Setting a budget, keeping to a budget is important, but if you can also share the risk of playing, so if you can get into a pool or if you can play with other players, maybe you buy a Powerball ticket for $2, but if you get in a pool with four other players, that's now a total of $10, and that's going the prize if you guys were to win will be split five ways. So if you guys get lucky and you win the grand prize, hey, chopping it up five ways is, is pretty good. You know, and all you and you got ten dollars worth of action for only two bucks. So I think that's a very smart way to manage your risk and to spread that across uh, and, and play with other players. All right. So with that being said, I hope you guys learned a little little something new today. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I plan on doing a couple more sort of uh, lottery informationals. Uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to cover but just wanted to try something new. So until next time, have a good one.